So you design your reference architecture, you build the configurations across single vendor or multiple vendors, and now it's time to actually deploy what you've staged. And I, I think, again, this is what most product people call automation, the other vendors out there. But as you'll see, it's just a slice of what we do. Okay, so now when he were here, right, we have these stage configurations, right? We went through all this. We showed you how to configure IP addresses, choose which models you wanted to use, and so on and so forth, right? Okay, so we want to config. But first what has to happen is you actually have to buy the switches and obtain the switches. So when you get the switches, you smart hands, cables them up, right? As we discussed, you would cable them up per this, this uh, cut sheet that you have right here, right? And we have it in spreadsheet version or this version. Um, and when you do that, uh, the switches come out of boot mode and they, they're they looking for a ZTP server. So using DHCP, there's a little option there, it tells them, it sends them to our ZTP server, which is actually right here. Uh, it's called the Aeon ZTP server. And this is a universal ZTP server. This is not a unique, uh, Cisco has you know their Pope, and Arista has their ZTP, and Cumulus has theirs, and Juniper has theirs. You, you actually need your own ZTP server for each one of those vendors, and that's silly. So we actually came up with this ZTP server universally, and it's free. And in fact, it's available right here on the GitHub. The GitHub uh, ZTP right here, and ZTPS, okay? So that's the way we contribute to giving back, because we care about the community, while we also are a commercial entity okay so that's great right so now things are booting up and we come to this device page and they come up in different stages now what you're looking for because you know what stage you know the, the switches you're looking for because you have the serial numbers already is you're looking for ones that come up in active mode and you see this device is currently part of the blueprint that you're expecting well, that's great. Okay, so now let's go back to that blueprint. And it can also come up as you can stock them, get ready for them, the maintenance mode. There's a whole bunch, and we can do a whole other um, video on that. Okay, but for now, um, let's assume everything comes up per, that you're expecting them, and you're at the stage, and you say, okay, well, I'm good. I got them all in, and now I want to deploy them. Okay, well, uh, we have not committed them yet. In fact, it says nothing's been committed. This whole blueprint has not been deployed. So let's commit it. And you ready? This is how you commit the whole thing. You press this button. Okay. Now it's com it's successfully committed. This light should go. This this yellow uh, danger button should go away. And then you become active, and that's it. Okay. So then that's it. The end of the stage. So that's the end of the deploy stage. That's it. That was easy, right? Okay, so we're almost done here, other than the most exciting stage, the validate slash operate stage. And this is the stage you are in for 99% of the time. So that's why we save the best for last. So wait a few seconds or come back later and check it out. Thank you.